Another day of trekking along the roads of southern Mexico. Since they left Honduras on October 12th, thousands of migrants have advanced dozens of kilometers per day. This group, the first caravan currently marching toward the U.S. border, is now approaching the state of Veracruz, still about 1,000 kilometers from Texas. After reaching a peak of around 7,000 people, their number has dwindled back to an estimated 4,000. The difficult journey, Mexico's efforts to block them from getting rides, plus an offer from Mexico to grant them asylum, has turned many away from the caravan. But thousands of others fleeing poverty and endemic violence say they're still determined to reach the U.S. My final goal is to reach the United States or another country that will give us asylum or refuge. Since the first caravan left Honduras, others followed suit, hoping that traveling as a group would make the journey safer and cheaper. A second, smaller caravan of more than 1,000 people is about 200 kilometers behind the main group. Their journey was slowed down Wednesday when Mexican authorities detained about 150 of them. In recent days, a third group of about 500 people has left El Salvador and crossed into Guatemala, and a fourth caravan of some 700 Salvadorans started its own journey north on Wednesday. Together, the caravans represent a few days' worth of the average flow of migrants to the U.S. in recent years.